Hey guys, what is going on? Fly here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we take out a constantly request plane, but there's not enough velocity on the voting system for me to actually use this plane. So what that means is that over like the, the course of like three or uh, three months, um, this plane has been requested every single time, but it hasn't really gotten that many upvotes, so I decided to make an executive decision and take it out today. Hey guys, um, I, I have Spider with me right now, and he's cuddling on my lap, and I'm going to pull down the microphone and see if you guys can hear him purring. Hey Spider, what's this? What's this? What, what is that? Smell it. Up here. Oh, he's nudging it. Is that good boy? That's a good boy, Spina. That's a good boy. If you guys want me to make another vlog with Spider and Piper, let me know. Uh, but I'm going to move this a little bit higher so I don't sound right in your earlobe. Uh, but yeah, guys. Um, so, from my past experience taking out this plane, it's been horrible. Um, it doesn't, you know, especially, wait, we're in patch 1.47. And uh, I think in patch 1.43, this thing was, wasn't really good um, at all. I mean, it, granted, it does have 30 mils, but... Um, the thing is, is that this is basically a Japanese 262, and please correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, but the whole, how this plane was created is that a Japanese delegate went to Germany and, uh, looked at the 262 and came back to Japan and just built it from how he saw it. Now, that might be incorrect, but I know, um, this, this is correct. Um, the engines that they use, and I don't know what they're called, they're called Knee 10s, Knee 30s or something. These engines were made off blueprints, um, so there was no actual physical ME262 engine that the Japanese had to look at or build off of. They only had the blueprints of the ME262 engine, and you know, granted, you know, late war, very low low supplies and precious metals, um, and that's pretty much the main reason why the Kika um, is uh, sorry, sorry, I mispronounced that, but uh, I think that's how you do it. And that's why the Kika is just so less superior to the ME262, just because the rehash technology wasn't fine-tuned um, that late in the war. No one had time to like, yeah, okay, it, you know, let's make it as fast as can I, I can. I think the whole, the whole um, well, not mandate, yeah, maybe a mandate um, or memoir or whatever, was to get this plane up in the air as fast as possible. Um, so if you look at it right now, we have 802 kilometers of top speed. Let's look at the 262A. I think I think that's what it was based off of. Um, here we go. 865. So as you can see, just the better German engineering or being the host of this plane, Germany was able to achieve almost 60 more kilometers in um, stable flight. And also that goes for acceleration, climb rate, and turn power oh, a little bit. Um, but the th cool thing about this plane is that um, as you upgrade and researched it, research it, uh, you'll be able to develop a little bit of higher armament. Um, so as you research and upgrade, you know, through these levels, uh, this is probably like the best mod you can get. This is new 30 millimeter cannon. And what this does is it upgrades it from one cannon to two cannons. So what this means is that you now have two 30 mil cannons with 50 rounds in each, which is a pretty darn good armament if you have good trigger discipline and you focus on your target and you know where they're going. Now, granted, the Japanese 30 mil really isn't that, or, or, or the, the round that the 30 mil shoots, um, does spark sometimes in War Thunder a lot more than the MK-108 or the MK-103. But, you know, well-placed shots into the wing roots and empennage really do blow up a plane pretty damn well. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get into battle. And, uh, oh, oh, yeah, one more thing. Also, uh, this plane or this camo will be in the description below for you guys to check out for yourself. I think it's pretty darn sexy, don't you think, guys? And also, make sure to vote on what plane you want me to take out next um, in the comment box below. But, all right, guys, let's go. Hey guys, so uh, welcome to the first battle. Uh, we're on New Guinea. Oh my gosh, no air spawn, yeah! I mean, no no runway spawn, nice. Okay, so it looks like we got some pretty good matchmaker here. Now the question is, can I move my banana from my desk so it doesn't so it doesn't hurt my mouse my mouse movements? There we, oh fucking shit! Um, the question is, is it's either gonna go really really good this game or it's gonna go really really bad. Uh, we have a hundred uh, rounds of 30 mils. It looks like we're in a pretty decent match. I, I didn't go over the BR of this thing, but it's 6.7, which is 0.7 higher than the um, Yak 7T. I kind of like taking out these like derpy jets trying to get kills with it because uh, you always seem to kill these jets when you go up against them. Uh, oh my gosh. 
If you guys want to club everyone and their grandmothers mothers to death, just use the R2Y2. Look at this thing. It's like, hello. I am 262, but much better. Oh, um, not the guns, but, I mean, definitely the plane, in my opinion. At this tier. Don't get mad at me, guys. Okay, so we're decreasing speed at... Oh, my God. We're climbing so intensely right now. There we go. We're going to climb at probably 11 degree angle right now. Look at this freaking... Look at that reticle! No, I, there, it has to... Don't do that to me. No way. There has to be a on switch for the reticle to come on. You're... You, Japan, you are not like that. You are not China, okay? It's there, there, There's no made in Japan joke, okay? If you're going to make a jet aircraft, a revolutionary design back in the day... And you can't even put a reticle up there. You put a freaking pencil without an eraser right there from how do I? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is that a wooden stick? <laughs> oh fuck me! But pretty good rear visibility. Now we're starting to move at 11 degree climb. I have a lot of faith in this battle for some reason. Just taking taking a little sip of my tea right now. I don't know what our R2Y2 is doing. Um, but as you can see, I'm much faster, well, not, I, well, I'm, I'm, I'll have higher energy retention than N1Ks in the uh, Ki-84s, but, they're, but they'll but they be able to outclimb me. Oh, so the R2-Y2 just dropped its 800 kilogram bomb on that, like, cruiser. Nice bombing, because, oh my gosh, a P-80. Oh, don't go heads up with, don't go heads up with 430 mils. It doesn't make any sense. He just shoot another one on fire? Okay, good. We're going to follow this guy in, especially with my sick-ass camo right now. Oh my gosh, another one went down, right? No? I'm, I think I'm just seeing stuff. Okay, so now we're kind of level fly right now. We're in, Oh, are the acceleration is not bad. Look at look at the acceleration in the top left of the screen. Not bad at all. Okay. Now, I haven't really flown this plane much, so we're going to see what this baby can do. Ooh, car. Ooh, it's just revenge. Sweet revenge. All right, we're going to help this. We're going to call these out to my team. Um... Damn, I, I can't believe he missed those. Four, um, seven. There we go. All right, guys, hold my beer. I'm doing things now. We're idle power. All right, get the mouse nice and adjust it. Now, I'm worried about compression right now. Got him critical. Okay. Now, will he go down from that? Looks like he's going down. That's a kill for me. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm going to retreat out of here. Okay, this plane's really good at this tier. I'm retreating out of here. Um, and then I'm going to wait for my team to kind of uh, surround surround me so I can um, climb back up to altitude. Ooh, nice guns though. Nice and accurate. A little bit, a little bit bouncy. Okay, so the only plane that we've lost is R2Y2. And it looks like... It's, I don't know where Railgun is, but he's not in the game. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I think for us to clinch the victory, I'm going, I'm going to get one more kill. That shouldn't be too hard. All right. N1K2 is just dicking around. Yeah. There's a B24 over there, so I'll just keep that. Um, what's happening? Oh. Um, I'll, I'll just keep that in mind if he has to go back to base. Okay. F7 now shot down by Key 200. We're almost done with our climb. Uh, least, least back to combat altitude. Oh, very bad turner. A, a, a very bad vertical turner. Oh my gosh. Even with flaps, a little bit better. Now, you guys think I can kill somebody with this? This little pencil? So, I've been uh, experimenting with tea. Not like experimenting, but I've been drinking, you know, American tea, like like the, bl the like the brown water tea. It's really good, but I've actually switched over to some green tea. And uh, Laura has uh, what what you want to call it, um, apple spice something something, like really really intense tea. And it's actually really really good, but doesn't have any caffeine. The only reason why I drink tea is for the caffeine. And I like to drink tea more than coffee, is because coffee has too much caffeine in it. For me, I get like really jittery. Um, if I have too much caffeine. Okay, guys, so two of them are already spotted. That's my, that's my little spiel for today about my drinks and stuff. But we have a 
Uh, Kika and a Ki-200 going in for these P-80s. Roger that. We are nice and fast right now. Let's see how we can help our team out here without getting ourselves killed. Ooh, what just happened there? I think, I think he's dead. Nope, maybe not. Got him critical. Good shot. Good shot. Well done. Those are really good place shots right there. So he should burn up. And I really don't mind if anyone takes that kill. I just want to win this battle because whenever I verse Kikas, uh, we always lose every freaking time. And I feel really bad. Oh, no, we always win. So I kind of want to change the tide. Okay, we're not going to climb for this guy. <clears throat> Meteor being very reserved right now. Idle the power. Looks like he might be going down here. Nope. 24 rounds left, be careful. Ten rounds left. We're gonna let the key 200 get in here. Okay, nope, he doesn't want it. Okay. Hang on, I gotta be really careful here. Gotta get a nice, perfect lined up shot here. Woo! Perfect. Out of rounds. Returning back to base. Three kills. Now I can. Oh shit. I'm going to stay here and distract this guy right now. Make him scared of me like I still have rounds. And hopefully this Key 200 can go ha uh, J7W, no sir. Go Key 200, go. Go T-100, okay. B-24 above us. Looking good this game though. Very proud of this jet. It's actually a really nice flying jet. Uh, what you just have to make sure of is that it's just, it's very, it's very situational. As we can see, I think a J7W is keeping up with us. Ooh, no, the Key 84. Um, it flies really nicely. It has very good rudder control, very good airline control. It doesn't, I, I haven't really tested its turnout too much. Um, other than that, the guns are very accurate. Um, just with the, just with the, um, sorry, the chat's kind of distracted me. Um, just with the tw uh, 30 mils, they, they do bounce um, a lot. Other than, uh, more, more than M, uh, MK-103s or MK-108s. Okay, so my, my objective right now is to go ahead and return back to base. And it's kind of hard because there's so much area covered in enemy anti-aircraft uh, supplies. So I think this way is the best. Yeah, right, right around, um, hmm, let's see. Right around uh, J8 to, let's not crash into any uh, coconut trees. Uh, J8 to uh, K6 to M5. Uh, that'll be the course. Now, I've killed three of their teams. Oh, there's one guy left. I think I think that's the meteor. Um, so we're gonna have to watch him. Yeah. Is this the deciding factor right now? Don't spray and pray like I did almost and lost all my ammo. Okay, it looks like he's pursuing me right now. Okay. He wants to do that, which I know he is right now. We'll just go ahead and lead him back to our friendlies. We have, we have a lot of fuel left. I feel like... I feel like uh, Valk Relic is one of those pilots who is there for the win. Um, you know, and like really plays the game properly. So he, he, he looks to see... If, like people are going to go land what this person's doing what why is he flying that low to the ground without engaging me he must be out of ammo i'll go after him because you know a proper ace or a proper pilot uh, at least at least from the red baron's quote um is that you never get yourself into a situation that you don't have the advantage and when the plane doesn't have ammo you definitely have the advantage okay
you know, we can go try to make it an emergency landing real quick. The only thing is that I want to come in nice and fast, but I have no guns to slow me down. Is that a carrier hook? <laughs> I don't think so. We won't try that. There we go. Transmission sent out. So what I'm going to do here is that this is kind of like a thing that I've been experimenting with now. Um, that it's actually a really good thing to have in your arsenal of what to do in a situation. Is that when you need, when you need to go land, you have a lot of fuel left. Oh, where is he at? Just, just make like two or three passes on the runway at full speed and see what, and see what the, uh, the enemy pilot does. But he's so high up there that it's kind of hard for him to see how fast you're going. Um, granted, you know, if he looks long enough, he's going to see you're going at like 800 kilometers an hour. But it's, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just good to do. There's, okay, he's turning in right now. Understand what he's doing. He's climbing. He's he's almost at seven k meters right now. Look at this. Look at that force up there. A key eighty four, two key eighty fours, J seven W. Looks like he's just making. Might be just kind of trolling us right now to delay the game. He hasn't engaged in probably about seven minutes. No, uh, uh, four minutes. He turned back around for a landing. Oh my gosh, he's closing in fast right now. That's a dive, that's a dive. That's a full committed dive right there. Oh my god, he's, he's diving like 90 degrees down. Okay, I'll be on final though. Combat flaps. We need you, we need you. No one hit me, please. No one hit me. Do some nice S turns right here. Slow the plane down. Okay, gears down. Landing flaps are out. Keep that propeller at about 30%. Man, this plane really slows down fast without having a lot of flappage out. Look how thin those flap the landing flaps are. Okay, maintaining around one kilometer uh, a second deduction and we're stalling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flaps out, flap, flaps, flaps, flaps coming in. Flaps coming in, flaps coming in. We're, we're going around. That was really weird. Flaps out, gear up. I want more lift right here. Okay, flaps can come up now. That was really weird. Um, a plane's never supposed to stall like that. Um, it could be because my tail's hurt that adds some factor in it, but a tail or a plane should never stall like that. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Um, okay. It's actually a good thing that I didn't land because this guy's coming in really hot right now. Now let's make his... Okay, he pulled off me. Okay, now we know that he's going to be running for a little bit longer now. So now we can pull in. And now we're going to land with only combat flaps. Let's do that. Okay, gear can come down. Not, not yet, but almost there. Okay, gear's coming out. Ooh, nice 
Nice job, Key 200. Okay, we're on final. Decrease power. Get that plane down really quick. This is short runway. Nice. Retract flaps for better braking. Okay, we're gonna start a little little yaw right here. Beautiful, just nice, nice and easy does it. We still have an engine throttle. We can come back on the runway if we have to. Oh my gosh. Jiminy Crickets, you guys ever heard of a go around? Okay, we're being repaired and rearmed. So guys, why isn't the game ending right now? That's the question. Oh, there we go. Nice. So I'm kind of happy about that game. I was able to uh, close the fucking can canopy for the love of for the love of your your hearing. That was a great game. That was really. I don't know why that was so enjoyable for me. It was just a really nice flyout. Our team had good chemistry, and I really. <laughs> I, some of my favorite parts of this game is just landing sometimes and taking off and um, seeing what other people do. But all right, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this game. We earned a lot of RP from that game. Um, so, you know, hint, hint, hint. I really haven't given any love to the Japanese tree in a while. So you guys can vote on what planes you want me to take out or plane you want me to take out next in the comment box below. But all right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace out.